really nice because we don't have a particular destination we can just sail with the wind and we're going five knots can't complain about that we haven't even adjusted the sails perfectly yet just getting a feel for it Don's turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. I thought we were going to get caught for a second in the stays, but it all came through. Moment of truth. Start her up. Oh. 
Oh, you're kidding. Just, just leave it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was a little weird for a second. We might not have held it in. Yeah, I know. probably need to hold it longer. That was for dramatic effect. I was like, why Go is it not farting? <laughs> Jam. <laughs> Total success? Yeah, and I'm getting much better at docking. I used to come in a bit hot and I'm much slower now. I think part of the reason is our reverse works so good. And yeah, it's been awesome. And just like that, the rainy season began in Puerto Madero. And with the first rains of the season came deadly diseases for animals. The litter of puppies we vaccinated a few weeks ago had started having vomiting and bloody diarrhea. These are classic symptoms of parvovirus. Two puppies had died within 24 hours of showing symptoms, but five remained, so we knew aggressive treatment had to be initiated. Although these puppies had had their first vaccination with us, boosters are needed to become fully immune. Parvovirus can survive in the ground for many years and is often associated with heavy rain as the viral particles are brought to the surface. We initiated treatment with injectable antibiotics, anti-vomiting medication and subcutaneous fluid therapy. We also revaccinated all the puppies in an attempt to boost their immunity as some weren't showing many symptoms yet. What are you giving to them today? Uh, we're going to give them antibiotics and anti vomiting medicine. And I'm going to just take all their temperatures again um, and maybe give them a little bit of subcutaneous fluids again. Okay. I came back the next day and you may notice I'm wearing the exact same outfit. We were maintaining strict quarantine with these puppies by using the same outfits that we would then take off as soon as we got home. We were bleach dipping our shoes and the owners were also using crocs in the enclosure but not outside to try and reduce the risk of spread. We also separated the one puppy that had no symptoms to try and protect her from contracting the disease. Ideally hospitalising these dogs is the best option but the local clinic already had parvovirus cases and was not equipped to take on another four puppies. This family was extremely dedicated to the puppy's care, so we initiated home treatment, which included twice daily visits from us and ongoing support from the owners. The owner of these puppies was mixing an electrolyte solution that they were then giving to the puppies every two hours, including through the night. She was cooking them chicken soup and cleaning their enclosure multiple times a day with bleach to try and wash away the horrible smelling bloody diarrhea and kill the viral particles. Most studies have shown with aggressive at-home treatment, you can have a similar success rate to in the clinic. So we felt confident that what we were doing was the best thing that could be done for these little puppies. We soon got word of another sick puppy, this time an unvaccinated three month old. He too had bloody diarrhea and vomiting. We initiated the same treatment, but unfortunately he passed away that night. Parvovirus is extremely deadly with a high mortality rate. So we were quite worried about our other puppies. Back on Chuffed, we had a few odd jobs to tackle. 
The first was using up the last of our open sealant to touch up a few areas and to seal around the throttle. Tubes are a bit harder to use just in, because you've got to use your strength to squish it out instead of the. Um... We also did a check of all of the main nuts and bolts on the engine after the first 10 hours of use and being out in the swell on the open ocean. Our final task was unpacking fully, including finding an area for all the veterinary supplies. Find out next episode if we can save our little parvo puppies and come on another test run with us. If you can't wait that long, become a patron for live updates and get early access to ad-free videos. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.